Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about sex determination from pelvis. In the previous video, I have already discussed about sex determination through skull and through mandible. This time I'm going to discuss pelvis, which is the best single bone. If only one bone is to be considered, then it is the best bone. It gives the accuracy of 95%. And skeletal remains are used when we don't have any kind of DNA with us or if we are not getting any proper DNA results, right? So in that case, we can use skeletal remains out of which skull, mandible, pelvis and sacrum are the most important bones. So in order to identify a person as a male or female, we need to know certain differences in them, right? So in this case, since we are going to determine it by pelvis, so we need to know the difference between the male and the female pelvis. So here are certain features on the basis of uh, which we can differentiate between the male and female pelvis. First, if we talk about the general structure of pelvis, then the male pelvis is taller, but female pelvis is larger and wider. It The male pelvis might be taller because of the higher iliac crest but overall view if we see then the female pelvis is larger and wider than the male pelvis if you look at um, this picture you can clearly see that the female pelvis is much more larger and wider than the male pelvis the male pelvis is narrower also it is more compact right and it is heavier now you must be thinking how come it is heavier if it is smaller in size and female pelvis is lighter being larger and wider in size so the reason for that is that the female pelvis the density of the bone is less the bones are thinner hence even though it is larger and wider the overall weight is lighter whereas the bone of male pelvis is thicker and it is more denser hence it becomes overall heavier than the female pelvis then if you talk about the shape then the male pelvis is deep funnel shaped whereas female pelvis is flat bowl shape you can look here the in this picture male pelvis is deep funnel in shape whereas the female pelvis is flat bowl shaped then if you talk about acetabula acetabula is uh, nothing but a cup like socket into which the head of the femur bone is uh, attaches itself the head of the femur bone attaches itself right so in the case of male pelvis we get to see a larger acetabula that are closer together whereas in female the acetabula is smaller and they are farther apart then if we talk about the obturator foramen here you can see in the picture obturator foramen in case of male pelvis it is larger oval and the base is upwards here you can clearly see that it is larger oval in shape and it is um, the, the base is upward whereas in case of female it is narrower smaller in size right and it is triangular in shape as you can see and the apex is in forward direction next if we talk about the greater sciatic notch you can look here in this figure greater sciatic notch in male is narrower deeper and small here you can see the, this area you can see it is small narrow deep whereas in case of female it is broad shallow it is much more larger broader shallow and wide then if we talk about the subcubic angle then in males it is usually less or equal to 70 degrees subcubic angle is less or equal to 70 degrees and we get to see a v shape here if you look at this picture here we can clearly see that this subcubic angle this is v shape whereas in case of females it is equal or greater than 80 degrees and we get to see a u shape here you can clearly see a u kind shape is formed in the subcubic angle now if we talk about the pelvic brim or inlet then in case, case of a male it is heart shaped and it is smaller in size here you can see it is heart shaped and smaller in size whereas in case of female the inlet is oval and larger here you can 
see it is oval and larger whereas if you talk about the pelvic outlet then in males it is comparatively small and in females it is comparatively larger why because female have to give birth right so in order to facilitate pregnancy or childbirth both pelvic inlet and outlet are larger in females then three more points on the basis of which we can differentiate them is ischial tuberosity pelvic cavity and coccyx ischial tuberosity is inverted in male pelvis and it is everted in female pelvis inverted means the tuberosity is towards inside whereas everted means it is towards the outside if we talk about the pelvic cavity then it is funnel shaped or conical in males and it is broad and round in case of females Lastly, if we talk about coccyx, then it is less flexible and more curved in males, and it is much more flexible and straighter in females. So these were all the differences between the um, male and female pelvis. I hope you understood each and every one of them. This was all about this video. Thank you for watching.